Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. It is open to all zodiac signs. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Beautiful. We have here the card of the lovers. For some of you, you might be meeting somebody who resonates well with you. It can be a new friend or it can be someone in your past or it can be a romantic partner also. This can also be a mentor. That's one that came one thought that came to me. So, uh, it can be somebody uh, romantic or somebody that is uh, platonic. It can be also a family member. But whoever this person is, your masculine and feminine, whether you're a masculine, uh, well, it's either your masculine and feminine resonates well with their opposite traits. So, for example, uh, if your feminine is the one that resonates with the masculine of the other person or your masculine side is resonating with the feminine side of the other person both the male and the female have this masculine and feminine side now this person somehow is like uh, the other side of the coin wherein uh, you comp you both complement each other and both of you when you are together, you become more intuitive and you are able to discern the presence of the divine in both your lives. Somehow, when you come together, uh, you feel complete when you are together. And uh, what comes to me right now is when you are with this person, you can talk of almost anything under the, <clears throat> under the sun. Uh, you don't run out of things to share things to talk about and somehow when you are together there is that synergistic effect wherein uh, your skills and your gifts are enhanced when you are together and when you do when you work together you are able to accomplish things faster than when you do it alone now the presence of the divine is very strong right now in this relationship that both of you have when you look at the feminine the feminine is drawn to the divine and the masculine is drawn to the feminine behind the masculine person is a, a tree that has a lot of fire so somehow uh, the masculine part in the relationship has a very strong attraction to the feminine energy and at the same time the feminine energy because she is very attractive also there are a lot of temptations behind her but she's not aware of it. It's as if there might be a lot of others who are attracted to that special person. It can either be you or the other person. No? So you just try to see how, which one resonates with the two of you. And when you try to see that the one with the stronger feminine energy is very attractive and there are a lot of other, other people who are drawn to her, but she's not, she's not giving attention to these people she's more facing you and at the same time she is also very much aware of the presence of the divine in her life now the masculine is very much also attracted only to the feminine his attention is towards the feminine so in a certain sense it's like when the two of you are together uh, it's as if the rest of the world is becomes a shadow okay it's like that when you are together you just enjoy each other's company and the others well they somehow fade in the background okay so this is what i can see now it's as if you are just beginning the relationship uh the song we've only just begun by karen carpenter comes to me right now for some of you this song might ha hold a certain significance in your friendship or in your relationship so it can be a theme song between the two of you between you and this person so that song if that resonates with you then there must be something here in this reading for you
at this time. Now, the important thing here is that you are both undergoing transformation when you are together with each other. So you are both undergoing that process of transformation and you could both feel how the divine is working in both your lives. Now you are just beginning the relationship because when you see at the background there is a mountain that is bare. Uh, when you look at the story of Adam and Eve, they were entrusted the care of the environment. Okay, So in a certain sense, you are just beginning a chapter and you are both going to fill up this mountain with good memories. <laughs> That's what comes to me right now. Now for some of you, those who are happily single, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can be a mentor or it can be a friend. Whoever this person is that is coming into your life, this person enriches you and allows you to evolve faster transformation. So it can be a family member or it can be a friend, it can be a mentor. It doesn't have to be romantic. But right now what I feel more, yes you are on undergoing transformation. This is also a card of transformation wherein all the opposites are balanced and equally formed. So it can be, you know, both of you are undergoing transformation. But right now what is very strong to me is that there is somebody who is in your life right now or coming to your life right now who will help you evolve faster. This person can be a soulmate, a member of your soul tribe. It can even be a twin flame. Now, twin flames need not necessarily have to be romantic. But one thing very important in twin flames is that when they come to your life, they teach you a very important lesson that will help you in your journey. Now, if it can be that the twin flame will come to a certain point, but then it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be together in this lifetime. But the important thing there is when the twin flame comes, be aware of the lesson that they will teach you. So uh, that's one of the things that you can learn. Now, the twin flame again, just like uh, a soulmate, need not necessarily have to be romantic. It can be a mentor, a student relationship. It can be also a deep friendship relationship, or it can be also a familial kind of relationship wherein th that person is a member of your family. Now let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, here you see. You see here two children. When I look at the Six of Cups, it symbolizes uh, also nurturing of the inner child. So for some of you, this relationship that comes, that comes into your life will allow you to find healing of your inner child, will allow you to nurture your inner child, will allow you to nurture yourself to the point that there will be healing there will be resolution of your past uh, hurts maybe or past experiences but the po important thing here is that you will feel nourished as a person again you see here the masculine and the feminine part the masculine is giving the feminine something uh, the masculine energy has a tendency to be protective and a provider so when you look at it, the masculine here, the, the little boy is giving her flowers. Uh, the flowers is placed in a cup. A cup is somehow related to emotions. So in a certain sense, there is that uh, protective, providing, uh, loving energy coming from the masculine person. Now, the feminine person is more of the receptive and the appreciation that the feminine energy gives to the masculine somehow also uh, enriches the masculine energy. So you try to see where you are. Are you in the masculine or the feminine energy? But when you look at it, it is healing for both persons. No? So that's what we can see. Um, there is also the two of you are like in the city. And in the city, it's usually quite busy. You see many people walking about, but it seems that these two are in a world of their own. 
somehow that is a kind of energy that oftentimes happens when you see this person it's as if suddenly <laughs> you are in a world of your own and you you just are happy when you are together if this resonates with you then this reading is actually really really for you now okay we, the advice of the universe is to con, uh, give attention to this relationship well, this relationship is very beneficial for both of you so you need to give attention to it when you look at the knight of cups he is constantly looking at the cup also carefully holding the cup in his hand so it's like you need to give care for the relationship considering it as a treasure a gift coming from the divine it's not easy or it's not often that you will be able to find somebody who resonates with you who enriches you so when that kind of relationship comes take good care of it cherish it and don't be in a hurry in your journey when you look at the knight of cups he just goes along the journey so enjoy the present moment don't jump into the future and don't allow the past to slow down the journey leave the present moment cherish the present moment with this person just as the knight of cups is cherishing that moment of present moment of contemplating on the cup so this is what we have for our sunset tarot let us now go to the second part which is insights at twilight for our insights at twilight the message comes from cheryl richardson and the message is if you want to live an authentic meaningful life you need to master the art of disappointing and upset, upsetting others, hurting feelings, and living with the reality that some people just will not like you. It may not be easy, but it is essential if you want your life to reflect your deepest desires, values, and needs. It's a reality in life that no matter what choice you make, there will always be people who will appreciate it and there will be people who will not appreciate it. So you cannot please everybody. There will always be moments when people will complain even if you do things with the best intentions. So when you are given a choice, make the choice because it is something that sets you on fire, something that inspires you, something that... Uh, somehow brings you life instead of choosing something just because it pleases other people it's much better to follow your passion if we will try to relate it to the earlier reading that we just had some people will appreciate the things that you do and these people will support you all the way these people you can consider as members of your uh, soul tribe these people are very supportive of you so when they come into your life cherish them they are a gift in your life so when part of life's growth and maturity is learning to accept the reality that you will not please everybody and the important thing there is you listen to your inner drummer even if it is something that is not popular you just follow your dream follow your inspiration follow what you feel you are meant to accomplish in this lifetime and when people come people who understand you who supports you who creates a beautiful environment for you and allows you to grow cherish them because they are gifts of the divine for you so even if some people will not understand you even if some people might even oppose what you are doing you also know that there will be people who will come your way who will understand you and will support you and when they come cherish them just as they 
Knight of Cups cherishes the moment he is, uh, the moment of journeying with the cup in his hand. Cherish that friendship, treasure it, and also enrich their lives. So this is what we have for our insights at twilight and for our uh, timeless sunset tarot. I hope that you were able to benefit from it and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you for subscribing and supporting this channel. Until next time, may God continue to bless your waste.